before this video gets started because I don't want you guys to see the look yet even though you've probably seen the thumbnail so you probably have seen it I'm doing a subscriber challenge mm -hmm. who can subscribe to the channel in 10 seconds you got 10 seconds to go subscribe while I play this random clip what is your favorite food Skylar, you ready? What is your favorite color? Hello my kids and queens, welcome back to another video and I decided to wear my hair natural today. So yeah, I'm going with this today. We're gonna take these out for the sake of the video. I haven't done a makeup video in like, my last video was a vlog for my birthday. So yeah, I haven't done a makeup video since before then, which was a few weeks ago. And I'm sorry, I've been slacking. I haven't been posting every single week like I want to, but I'm trying to get back on that. So this weekend, I'm gonna film a bunch of videos so I can have them up. But in today's video, I will just be showing you guys a look, not a specific look. Hopefully my next video, I'll do an illusion look, but I don't want to do an illusion today because you can't really see my forehead with this hair and I didn't want to have to just do something on my cheeks. But for my birthday, I got two palettes from my sisters. Love them. I got this Morphe Artistry palette. Show y'all, because we'll be using it today. Never used it. Look at that sister. Ah! And then I got this palette. This is also an Artistry palette. I've actually used this, but you can't tell. I use the blue, the blues. But yeah, I have this, and this one I live for. So today, I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna be doing. I'm probably just gonna mix something together or maybe I'll maybe I'll do an inspired James Charles look or something. I don't know. I'll get back to y'all when I figure out what I'm gonna do, but I don't know. As you guys know, the only palette that I ever really used to use was the Jaclyn Hill palette. Literally all my tutorials, that's all you see. And look how like dirty and stuff it is. So um, I'm gonna still be using that because that will always be my favorite one. But we're gonna expand our horizons and use a different ones. I went to school today and today was a little bit of a rough day. So I had to do my eyebrows in the school bathroom. So they might not be perfect, which is perfect because we're just gonna shape them up. Well, not shape them up, but um, fix them. So I'm gonna go in with the last little drops of my Anastasia De Bell Promade in the shade Dark Brown. Yes, I said the last drops because I hardly have any left and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E11 brush and just fix them up. Don't mind my hair. I'm gonna fix it after this video is done. I just like, I really wanted the bang but it's not gonna work out I'm trying to make it. So I'm not gonna conceal under them because like I said, I did my eyebrows earlier and I just want to um, fix them up but they're already done. So I realized that the primer that I was using, I love e.l.f., not trying to bash e.l.f. or anything, but it wasn't really hydrating my skin. It was making my makeup, my face makeup, crack a little bit, and it wasn't just hydrating my skin, and I really did not like the smell. If you notice, in a lot of my videos, I always talk about the smell and how I didn't like it. So I looked up that a natural type of primer is aloe vera, and I put this on my skin every day, um, usually when I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm gonna try to use that as a primer today. And hopefully if it turns out um, working good on me, then I will make like an Instagram video or something, let you guys know that it's good to use. Follow me on my makeup Instagram at Sierra. I mean, ooh, no, that is not what it's called. At C Makeup. Now we're just going to go in with concealer. Um, I finally got my shade because I was always light. I use the Pro Conceal. This is just at a beauty supply or anything. I don't feel like my base makeup, though I should, I don't spend a lot of money on it. Like I'll pay $60 for a palette. There's nothing wrong with drugstore makeup. You don't have to be like a bad guru. I'm not trying to hype myself up, but apparent, like it's apparent to me at least that I've done a few good looks um, with the little makeup things that I have and I don't have all that fancy stuff. I'm going to go on with this lighter concealer and I'm going to prime my lids because I like to do my eyes before I do um, the rest of my face. I'm going with the lighter shade so that the pigments of the eyeshadow can really pick up on my eye and not try to blend in. So I'm gonna go into my crease with this uh, purple right here just to create that little outer V flip. 
that James has. I think that this brush had blue on it because it's kind of mixing, if you can't tell. But we're just going to keep on going because <laughs> it'll even out. But don't do it like I'm doing. Clean your brushes. You don't want to mix colors like I'm doing. If this brush was being used on someone else's face, I would not be doing it. I'm only doing that because it's me. I kind of like how the blue is though, so I'm going to probably mix some blue in there just to add that effect like it is on the other side because it kind of looks cute. Wow, I love that so far. Okay, little review on these palettes. They blend really, really well together. Now with this darker shade of purple right here, I'm gonna go in on the bottom of my V and just try to blend that purple to make like a deep, there we go, like a deep cut. Then I'm also kind of gonna go in that with a little bit of black, not too much, cause I don't wanna make this look, 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 look really dark. Hey, boom, looking good so far, I'm so happy. Y'all, this crazy hair, I can't. I'm gonna blend this glittery color right here, these two, and I'm gonna blend that up into my brow bone. Okay, loving it so far. Now I'm gonna go in with this concealer and do a cut crease. Um, I sometimes use a brush, but I don't wanna get that brush dirty yet, so I just go straight in. Boom! I'm feeling it so far. And I'm going to use this flat um, brush. It doesn't have a number. I don't even know what company it's from, but my auntie gave it to me. I'm going to go in with this lime green and then on top of that with this glitter or I might go in with the white glitter. I'm going to see. Wow. Sister is pigmented, okay? Now since the green is kind of like just purple out of nowhere, I'm going to go back with this brush and blend uh, the purple and the blue into the green. To enhance the glitter effect that I want, I'm going to go in with this white highlighter on top of it just a little bit because I don't want to wash it out and make it look like it's supposed to be white, but I want more glitter. Just like that. Fix our sides, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and just fix it. Okay, and now that my eyes are pretty much done for the most part, not 100%, um, I want to go in with my lashes. So, I know you're probably thinking like, why aren't you doing the under eye? I will come back to the under eye, I just want to do the lashes for right now. So, I don't really know, remember what uh, type of lashes these are, because sometimes I throw away the packaging even though I really shouldn't. Sadly, I do. So, I don't know what number these are or anything like that but this glue that i use a uh, beauty supply store glue and i just put it in this little tray that i have i clean it out kind of mad because my black glue is all ran out and i'm probably gonna go get some tomorrow so i'm currently using some white glue lashes are on I'm gonna go on top of them to kind of like blend them with my real ones I basically learned how to do lashes just by continually to practice putting them on I wasn't gonna learn if I didn't do that so now that that's done I'm going to contour I know I people tell me when I do my makeup that I go out of order and it's not organized but I don't know I just feel like that's how I do it it's unorganized but at the end of the day so i usually use this second to dark shadow because the darkest one is way too dark for me I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my it's coming together i take my airspun powder and i'm just going to bake at 350 degrees and leave that on for like five minutes so it's been five minutes i wasn't just gonna let y'all sit there so it's time to 
rub it in. All right, now for my under eye, I wanted to go in with a pop of color. So I wanted some type of blue or something. I'm gonna go in with this blue on the Jaclyn Hill palette. And as you can see, it's this little, some people call that green. I call it blue because it looks blue to me. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting real excited. Okay, and I think I wanna use some white and pink. I get carried away in highlighter. You'll see me like, whole face got highlighter on it. And then on my brow bone, we're just gonna go with that pink. Now for my lips. This Viper ColourPop lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> eyes, I rate a hundred right now. I've never done eyes like this before, and I'm so shook that it turned out good. <laughs> um, the lashes, I had to cut the camera a little bit because I started to struggle, but I fixed it. The band is just really thick and it was hard to get it. I don't like lipstick, but surprisingly, this lipstick really matches it really good. And I just, I'm in love with this look. Like, this is probably my favorite one on the channel so far. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. And I have a big secret reveal for you guys. I don't think you're ready. Hmm. Hold that thought. Bro. Oh, you can't see. Oh, we got Queendom merch. Not yet. Okay. Here's the deal. I have been working on a merch line for the past year now. And I don't have a big following base on here, only 3,000. So I wouldn't be watching this anytime soon, but I want your help to create this merch because I feel like a lot of YouTubers, their merch is their catchphrases or things like that. But I want your opinion of what you think the merch should be, what colors it should look like. Send me pictures of your designs on Instagram. You can comment detailed things that you think should be on them. It wouldn't be until I hit 100K or probably like a million or something, just so it could be a bigger audience to buy the merch. But my sister's got me this shirt for my birthday and it says Queendom and that's literally you guys, my kings and queens who support me every day on a daily basis. And I love you guys so, so much for doing that. Thank you for getting me to 92K on TikTok. Y'all are, I'm gonna cry. Y'all are showing out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it is currently 10 on 9 and I have a hair appointment in the morning and I should be probably asleep because I have to wake up at 6 but um we're striving on water today so make sure you subscribe to become a king or a queen and join the queendom. It's lit every single week in this piece bruh. Follow me on Instagram at crxandrea at my makeup Instagram at cmakeup. Follow me on Twitter at crxandrea. Follow me on TikTok at crxandrea. And yeah, big virtual hug. Ugh. See you guys next week. Bye. Queendom. Oh, Queendom. Boom. <laughs>